Hey guys, my name is Ethan, this is Cobra, welcome to the series where I teach you how to build a Discord to pop up your server. Today we're talking about adding cooldowns to commands, so let's get into it. Go back into our fun uh, cog, there's our animal fat command from last episode. And we're just going to be adding uh, cooldowns to most of these. We're not going to be adding to all of them, <laughs> because that seems a bit stupid. I've done the take of this video before I added it to all of them, it didn't seem too good. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly get my test account ready on my tablet um, just so I can show you some of the different types of cooldowns because there are many different types of cooldowns you can actually do you can do a user cooldown, a guild cooldown, a member cooldown and a default cooldown I have no idea why I did those in that order <laughs> um, so a user cooldown and a member cooldown are more or less the same um, a user cooldown stops is a cooldown that affects a user across all of Discord. A member cooldown is a cooldown that affects a user in a particular guild. Uh, a guild cooldown is a cooldown that affects every user in in that guild, but they can still use it in other guilds. And a default cooldown is just global across the entire bot. Um, so we're going to be using an example of all four, um, or at least I'm going to be showing you all four. Um, well, actually it doesn't matter too much because they're, uh, they're all really done the same uh, so if we we need to import a bucket type in here and we also need to import um, cool I think it's cool down not cool downs I guess we'll find out um, into uh, uh, from uh, discord ext dot commands now uh, very much like the command the cooldown actually uses a decorator we're not going to have a cooldown on this we're going to have a cooldown on our dice first um, <clears throat> and we're going to say that um, a user uh, cannot use this more than once so we're going to uh, a cooldown decorator takes three arguments so the first is the number of times um, a command can be fired without that particular cooldown triggering so most of the time this is going to be one um, so what that says is every time the command is used the cooldown fires if you have it as two it's every second time if you have a ten it's every tenth time um, most of the time it's going to be one the next argument is the amount of time in seconds the cooldown will last so we're going to have say 60 um, so if you want a minute it would be 60 if you want like an hour it would be 3600 if you want a day it would be 86,000 400, if you want a week, I think it's 604,800, etc, 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 we're going to have 60, um, it's always in seconds, or if you want like 10 minutes, you could do like 60 times 10, that's fine as well, um, but you could probably just put 600 in there, but we're going to have it 60, and then we're going to set this to be a user cooldown, so we're going to have a uh, bucket type dot user, I believe it's called bucket type, because I think uh, it's it's using a bucket, and I think a bucket is like a, it's just a, like a collection type, it's a custom collection type. I don't think you really need to know the base, the the actual uh, workings of it, because I don't really think it's that. Um, you certainly don't need to to do anything else with it for cooldowns, because everything else is handled in the exceptions and stuff. Um, so yeah. So then, so now this command is on is on cooldown. So if we go from our launcher, launch this again, uh, we get an error. Because I've imported bucket type for the wrong place. God damn it, man! It's the dot commands. It's always dot commands, isn't it? I always do. I always do that once. <laughs> Every time we need to import something new, it's always that once. Um, <clears throat> so we do dice. I oh, know you remember how the dice command works, right? Is it possible to get a D10? I have absolutely no idea. Do dice 4D6. Something went wrong. An error occurred. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. Um, there is someone screaming outside. I'm going to close the window. Um, I didn't realise I forgot to close the window before I started. I have no idea if you could hear that. Um, so we get this. Uh... Oh yeah, I realised that I messed up the on command error thing. <laughs> uh, I think I went back and did that in episode and edit and fixed that in episode ten, if I remember correctly. I think I actually went back and already did that. Um, but we need to fix that again so give me a second while I get the code back yeah apologize for that uh, apologies for that little cut um, I realized I made a mistake and then I did some more videos and then I'm, I'm double taking some so everything got confused but we're back now um, we're in here and we need to we need to be in here because we need to actually handle our error so if we actually get an error using our proper error handler now um, 
gotta re-upload episode 10 grumble 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 <laughs> have these six dice i know 10 d 40 something went wrong an error occurred we didn't go back to an error and let's see oh we're on cooldown it 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 throws an error if you're on cooldown, which is something you can catch. Now the easiest way to catch it is just to do it from here, uh, pretty much. So we can do elif is instance exe, and it's the, the normal um, uh, exception, not the original one. Uh, command on cooldown, which we need to import. Uh, so if we go up to the top again, it's we can come down on a different line here. Um, move that over and then command on cooldown. Uh, come back down here. Do, 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 do. Cool. And then await ctx dot send. Uh, it gives you a default message, but I'm actually gonna create a custom one because I want to do some more stuff with it. Uh, we'll start off with uh, that command is on the cooldown. Try again in whatever whatever it is. So I think it's exception.retry after, I believe. We'll just um, output a number of seconds and then we're going to do a thousand separator just in case it's a huge amount and then dot to f. So round it to two decimal points. You could do, if you want it in like minutes or something, you could do like times 60. If you were to do that, no, not times 60, divide by 60. Uh, divide by 60. I think that would always return the lower, so you probably will do plus one, but I don't know. I'm not going to be bothering with that. Um, so now if we do it, uh, just go in here, do, 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 roll our dice, 7d15, that's an interesting dice, uh, and then 5d18, oops, <laughs> I hope we actually got the right thing, roll uh, 5d18, these are some weird dice we're rolling now, there we go, that command is on cooldown, try again in 50.44 seconds. So, um, uh, there is another level of detail we can go into with this. So what we can do in this message is actually uh, detail exactly what type of call on the command is currently on. So it's a bit awkward to do that, but um, it's certainly possible. Uh, so we can use our fstring syntax again, and then we do a string of the exception dot cooldown dot type, and then uh, because the discord.py API doesn't have a string method for this, it literally, that literally turns, uh, returns bucket type dot whatever. So we need to get rid of the bucket type dot, so we're going to dot split by the dot. And then we are going to use the last element of that so we actually get the type, not just the object name. If you do that again, We'll get a syntax error because, of course, naturally, this isn't a bloody Cabra video unless I get this confused. <laughs> unless I mess up the F strings. Ay, 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 ay. Coming down here. Roll uh, 4D. Let's, let's do um, some normal dice now. And then roll, I don't know, 1D 16. Is it, uh, does this D16 exist? I doubt it. Yeah, the command is on user cooldown. Try again in 54.71 seconds. Um, so yeah, that is more or less how they work. I'm going to go over a, a few different examples of like guild cooldowns and stuff like that. Um, and the default cooldowns. So, uh, in, in a single server, but a user uh, cooldown and a member cooldown don't actually really differ because it's just in one server. Um, Slap, we're not going to bother call, adding a cooldown to the echo. We probably should just to avoid spam. So, we're going to have a cooldown. Actually, to be fair, a, a, a guild a default cooldown. I don't know the difference either, do they? Um, of like 15, just to make sure it's not spammed constantly. Dots, I don't know, we'll have it as a guild. And then we'll do the same for the animal facts as well. We'll have a little cooldown. Um, we'll, we'll set like a, a different number of commands, so say, oh, oh no, you're allowed three in a minute, um, and then bucket type dot guild, because uh, it's just easy. You, it's very unlikely you'd want to use the default one anyway. Um, but yeah, so if I now get my test account running, 
it should already be here. Yeah, you can already see it in the member drawer. So if I were to say, what was the first one? It was the echo, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, so if I echo, hello, and the bot does it. And if I do the same thing on the tablet, uh, echo, hi, boop. I can minus on Gil cooldown, try again in six point. Uh, not three seconds if we do like, and if we do like the facts, so fact cat, fact bird, and fact fox, you'll see there's now on a, a guild cooldown after three uses. So it can be used like three times in a minute. Um, that's probably a little bit more lenient, but uh, <laughs> I love how I love all the pictures mismatch with. Like the um <laughs> the facts, that's really funny. <laughs> I do like that. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for cooldowns and stuff. It's a pretty easy system to to use, um, but it's just a somewhat of an awkward syntax. Um, so if you like the video, and say hello down below. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below as well, or you can ask them in the Discord server using the link in the description. If you really like the video, consider subscribing. Uh, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. And if you really, really like the video, consider supporting because it would be a really cool thing to do. But of course, you don't have to. Next time, we are talking about why do I never have this information on hand? Creating a custom help command. Um, spoilers, that was an ass to do. Um, so I've got it planned. This is The next episode is not going to be live coding. Um, I did attempt it, which is why everything is kind of a bit out. Um, and my god. <laughs> It's a bit of a nightmare, um, but yeah, my, hopefully my tutorial will make it somewhat easier. Um, so yeah, I'll see you then.